Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Poke Sui Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Uh, here's a guitar that recently came in. Just, and just so everybody knows, I mean, I really just deal in a very small amount of inventory because I have to love a guitar. Um, I have to really believe in a guitar to, to buy it, you know, to, uh, to resell. And it's really a passion to me. People who bought guitars from me know the value. Um, not too many people do what I do. This this is a Hagstrom. Uh, and Jimmy D'Aquisto was involved in the design work on this. He studied with D'Angelico. There's a lot behind this guitar. This is, I mean, I really deal in stuff that just punches and sounds and, you know, has value way beyond the price. Because most stuff, in my opinion, is so overpriced nowadays. I mean, this guitar sounds like something you could buy, like a, like a high-end Gibson L5. You could drop seven, eight grand or more for, you know. This is a rare one, too, with a solid carved top. You can feel the roughness when you feel inside. You can feel the wood, uh, the roughness of the wood. And uh, this is a rare one. Some of these have a solid top, but some of them are, very few of them have the solid carved top. This is an incredible guitar. It's got the age binding. It just sounds absolutely beautiful. Uh, it does have upgraded tuners. I think he, he put, uh, the guy I got it from put uh, Grovers on it. But yeah, this 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 is this is one of those guitars where, kind of reminds me a little bit of a of a Gibson L4 CES, but with more real tone. It's got that space between the notes. I think it's got twelves on it. This is this is a high-end guitar for the price of a of an average guitar. I hardly have any any volume. before but I, I did recently bought a couple arch stops from a guy I bought a really nice uh, Gretchen bought this but yeah this I'm uh, really really impressed by it. I might put Levens on it if I just don't like to spend too much on putting new strings on every guitar I get but uh yeah, this punch is way, as, as most of my inventory does, sounds way above the price. It's got that, you know, and Jimmy D'Aquisto was one of the top builders ever. Like I said, he stayed with D'Angelico. That was one of the top arch builders ever. So uh, this guitar's got a lot behind it. I think it's a very, very, very under, under, undervalued guitar. strings are super old by the way it still sounds this good this would be a great guitar for work in the guitar loader system but yeah I, I'm pretty pretty blown away by this guitar it just sounds so beautiful it's just got that high-end carved top sound man 
And I think in one of the emails from the guy, he mentioned something about some Russian red capacitor or something. It's got some extra things that, that help it even sound better. And the pickups just sound absolutely beautiful. That's the uh, treble pickup. You always know a great guitar if it also sounds great on the treble pickup. some elevens on it. I might not. I don't know. I just... But yeah, it's just got the sound, man. It's got that high-end jazz tone where there's definition and clarity, but there's space around the note. There's air around the note with retaining the clarity and the, and the beautiful mid-range and mid-bass and all trouble, all that. As usual, I'm not very warmed up. I just don't always have time to warm up. case with this one. It's it's not made by Hagstrom. But this guitar really has a sound. It, it punches way, way, way above the price. Whenever you can hear that kind of acoustic quality come through, you know, on an arch top. Oh, that was both pickups, by the way. Musical pickups. I, I'm even digging the treble. But man, the, studying and dealing in a lot of arch tops for over 30 years. I really know arch tops. Yes, I'm still learning. There's always more to learn. But I, you know, I think the advantage with me is I've played and sold some. My ear is, you know, I've sold a lot of Gibson L5 CESs, Super 400s. I had a Stromberg, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff. I used to be a dealer for the lore. Um, anyway. This is so musical. Because anybody can get that big, fat, you know, thudsy, wessy tone, but to get real tone in between, see, that's got that acoustic, acoustic quality. screwing around obviously but uh this would be so nice for the guitar ladder system man. this is steady one by the way if you're doing 
the guitar ladder system and you recently started, don't forget to take this diminished chord and move it minor thirds with the two forms. Maybe then link up the 13 flat five. For a second, I, I swear I have hard, hard, hardly any volume on this. I just want to just do it just a tad more. But yeah, this is this is really a lot of guitar. I mean, if you'd like to have a a high end arch top sound with a solid carved top, and you don't want to spend seven grand, ten grand, twelve grand. <laughs> body arch top guitars are really dead in the mid range and mid bass and that's where all the magic happens you know they sound okay but uh, when you can find a guitar that has a beautiful mid range and mid bass and has air inside the note like this one you're talking a guitar that you know usually you'll pay thousands for it's kind of hard to see it's actually a really dark like a glass of dark wine color it's not black it's more of like a wine color uh, like a dark wine like a dark burgundy or something it's really I'm very impressed with this guitar and like I said if a guitar sounds great on the treble pickup it sounds musical that's a really good sound This guitar anyway it's available it comes with a hard case never had one of these really really impressed by it like I said this is you know this this is a guitar that sounds like something you could drop thousands on that's not sales bullshit I really know what I'm doing guys if you need credit I, I hate to say this because I mean some people accuse me of bragging but I, I just to me it's credibility so you get a feel for who you're buying from and then I know what I'm doing you can go to vintageguitar.com put Steve Zook in there Read my review of my CD. The great writer Stephen Stone even mentions he's bought in a few arch tops from me. Uh, if you want to hear some of my original music, go to Steve Zook One, the number one dot bandcamp dot com. I know what I'm doing, folks. This is a passion to me, um, you know. But yeah, I love the age binding on this. I just love the tone. Hard guitar to put down. You can email me Steve Zook Seven at yahoo dot com. That's the number seven, not spelled out. Or leave a message or text me. It's hard for me to always answer my phone. I got a lot going on. 714-548-0385. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty uh really impressed by this guitar. It's got a high end sound. Hagstrom HG800, rare one with a solid carved top. Plays great. Could use a new set of strings. Ciao.